Alright guys, <clears throat> and welcome back! This is Life is Strange Before the Storm, and well... See what Rachel brought me in her mystery bag. Yeah, we really should do that. So uh, Chloe has been thrown out, well actually, voluntarily, not gone home. I should say, she wasn't thrown out, she just didn't want to go home and move in with David uh, and her mum. Her mum was like, you know, disappointed with her because, you know, we got a little bit expelled. Can you get a little bit expelled? No, probably not. We got very expelled from school. Um, around. And exactly. we decided to make the junkyard our new house. Our new home. Um, but there's a few things we can do to spruce this place up. Now, in the previous game, Max and I came along here. Well, Max found this place and it was definitely well decorated. So, first of all, Rachel left us a bag of goodies. She was, she was really nice to me. And, uh, well, she's left me something. So, let's see what around. it is. Bag time. Bag time. A bag full of clothes. Right. Yes, I need those. Okay, that was slightly underwhelming. Um, I do apologize, but I can try on these outfits. Shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Oh, I see. That was mild sarcasm. Well, we do have different things we can wear. So I've been wearing, because uh, I pre-ordered the game, I, I've been wearing um, the old outfit that Chloe used to wear, if that makes any sense. But we do have other styles. Tara Tower, Raven Hair, or the Raw Shack Skull. <coughs> I think we should give that a go. Let's check it out. Oh, that's completely me. Right, we're sticking with that. I can't even see it, but I don't care. It looks great. Brilliant. Yep, you're done. There we go. Nice change of clothes to set the mood. Frank, something in the journal. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Uh, rain check, I'm at the junkyard now. Oh, he's here. Yes, of course, at the end of the last episode, he said he wanted to meet us. I've got a message from Mikey there. Uh, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? Yeah, Steph says you're a nerd. That's, that's, that's kind of board game talk there. Board game jokes. Um, and, well, sorry, I should say role playing game jokes. Uh, Rachel's grabbing something from home, then she's going to come back. See you really soon. You better. Yes, you better. Okay, well, let's go and see what Frank wants. Oh, I should hang the dartboard up. I've got to do something to make this place look a little less scummy. Yep, that's totally it. Dartboard on a wall. Always makes me feel at home. Ooh, tapestry. Yes, go on then. Now, oh right, I was going to say, now you're talking. That was a little unexpected. Um, and a sign. Wrong way. Prop it up. Okay. Hmm. Very feng shui. Is that it? Is that the best you've got? At the moment, I suppose it is. Um, let's go find out. Yeah, we're going outside. We want to find out what Frank's got for us. Saw with Rachel's dad. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what, it looks a little bit like Rachel herself, doesn't it? Yo, Frank, it's Chloe. <gasps> oh, is that what's going on? I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. Oh god, I think that I think that girl is something to do with Rachel, like possibly is even Rachel. That looked like an older version of her, didn't it? I'm stunned that really now I've got a good idea that this game has to have something other than normality. Dude, it smells like piss in here. 
Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Well, ah! Oh! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Okay, I've been kidnapped. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. Something from Justin. Dude, I heard you got expelled bad news. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, oh, yes, no, it's not good. It is good news. I'm stoked. Word. Yeah, because that's cool. Um, I'm home to... Uh, Finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. Mum's taking me, sorry, Mum's making me go to her book group. Yeah, that's kind of bad luck. Never mind, mate. How low can I go? Wait, Frank got a puppy. Ah, oh, Frank's. Oh, of course, Frank's got a puppy. Ah, oh, in he he really does have a puppy that grows up to be a lovely dog. Right. Anyway, here's the note we were we were trying to find. Is this the one? Hi, I bumped into your RV and was going to leave my info, but then I saw you coming and got creeped out. Sorry. There you go. That's exactly the decent thing to do if you ever do damage anyone's stuff. Fight the power. Search and seizure law. Right, there's a, a betting slip? Really? Betting slip? That looks like dogfighting. Argus versus Bowser? Oh, not cool. Really not cool. Um... So I swear that's vomit, unless he dropped his dinner. Gross. Yeah, it's vomit. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, go on, take it, Chloe. Even fucking think about it. Damn it. Yeah, he's got eyes in the back of his head. Or cameras in the back of his van. <laughs> Puppy time. Hey there. Well, your dinner's on the floor. It's okay, little guy. Your dad's ate it once, but oh, why shit. not give it a go? Pompidou, get up here! <laughs> Puppy Pompidou. You little killer. Puppy do. Oh, it's Scrappy do. Okay, now where is this damn thing that I've... Where is the note? Oh, whatever it is, I've got to find. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Mm, I doubt he spends money to get that much. Okay, is there a note in here, please? Frank Looking at photos. Okay. BFF. BFF, yeah, adorable. Sets. Understood. There we go. That's the notebook we're after. Is... This what I think it is? Oh, it's a tick list. Shit. I'm in the red. Yep, okay. So Chloe owes $175. Everyone else has paid up. Drew, wow, Drew owes a lot of money. $1,000. Find out what Frank wants to discuss. Okay. I guess it's to do with the money I owe him. My right, Frank. Um, here's your notebook, mate. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Um, French for what? Oh, I've got to know this. I think I know. I think I actually know. But I'm not going to spoil it for you. Does it mean, like, tough guy? Or no, something? no, it doesn't. Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so... Who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Okay. Uh, right, with demands and answers. This is where Chloe gets into the groove. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Okay. Um, I won't sell you out. No, give me some credit. I won't sell you out. You made no promise. I won't sell you out. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm going to tell? Come on, Price. I got to protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Okay, Dream Cloud. Oh, it's underlined. Go on, then. Hey, so... Uh... 
I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Have you seen her? Oh no, okay. Hang myself out of boredom, just hanging out, so sensitive. Oh, just hanging out. I'm, I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Well, who was that girl in your trailer? Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Sarah, hey? Eh? Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Okay, money from what? Or should we just say, how about you? No, money from what? Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. 175? Wait, no, I think it's more than that. Have it? Uh, yeah, I'll get it to you later. Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Um, okay. Yeah, he's a douche? No, we never talk? Oh, I just say he's a douche. He is a douche. Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Oh, wow. You want me to rob him? Uh, it doesn't feel right, that's damn sure. What's in it for me is the other option. Oh, God, Chloe, what do we want to do? Do we want to go the good path or the evil path? Evil, yeah, all the time. Of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot. You still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. Hmm. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. Uh I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, with a hundred dollars and a broken truck. How far are you gonna get? You know, come on. Anyway, sorry, sorry, I don't want to spoil the dreams. Uh, right now, but <laughs> seriously. Yeah, a hundred bucks and a truck. 
They could maybe get to the next town. Um, but then they're going to have to get a job and settle down. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be this is going to be really easy to uh, to get a, uh, you know, accomplished. I have to sneak into someone else's room, steal the money, while being expelled from the campus. So I basically can't be seen. Is there a stealth mode in this I game? I'll be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, it's from Rachel. Back at school yet? They've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm here too, running an errand for my dealer. <laughs> Come and see me when you're done. All right, I will. I will. P.S. I saw that woman that your dad was with coming out of my dealer's RV. What? Apparently, she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah. Rachel, I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, yeah, my bad. No, it's fine. See you soon. Okay. And something from Elliot here. It's going to be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Dude, I'm, dude, I'm fine. All right, just leave it. Get into the dorms. Uh, and this is Sean Prescott. Yes, Nathan's father. Absolute ass. Okay. So in the first game, there was always somebody you, who you could you could avoid getting hit by something. And this this courtyard, the front of this place, will be very familiar to those who played the first one or watched my series of it. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How is my future looking? Bright and sunny. Mm. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Okay. Thanks a lot, though. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well... Yeah. So, what are you doing here? Okay, um, seeing the Tempest. Good cover. Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. <laughs> oh, whoops. I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. Oh, definitely. I'm I was sure only joking. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay, all right. I'm intrigued. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown... He's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well. Good <laughs> luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. <gasps> oh, wow. Well, I can't have that. So, are you? Uh, yeah, we are. I mean, totally that's Rachel's are. Rachel's business, or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me, oh, that's a good way. It's almost like she's she's tricking me into submission. You think we're together? I'm not sure. Well, she's single. Uh, you think we're together? Yeah. Answer her with the question. You think we're together? You've been hanging out a lot, which I know might not mean anything, but I like to be extra careful about these things. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure or she's single. No, I'm going to say I'm not sure. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's confusing. <sighs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can. Right. There we go. Later, so, 
we didn't basically yeah, hand her over awesome. by saying she was single. So there's the, you know, Chloe definitely likes her. So I wouldn't want to ruin that right now. Let's go into the school. The Tempest. I don't know how far we're going to actually get here. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Right. Oh, yeah, kicking the door always Looks helps. Like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Oh, look, somebody's left the back door open. Oh, keys. Keys. Bingo. If Just take him. Look, he's not looking. Supervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Yes. Go trigger the sprinklers. Um, set them off. Where's the tap? Um. Oh, over here. Hey, bird. Bird. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. Yep, not talking to you. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. Some damage. Some damage. Some damage. Evan I need to talk to that guy. There. Get the guy. Get the guy out of here. Evan, Evan off. Shh. Oh, I see. What are you doing here? Uh, Aren't kind of trying to, to be at home sabotage things. Over your endless list of questionable decisions. Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Yep. Evan looks really ridiculous. Okay. Uh, mock him or say nothing. Uh, say nothing. I don't want to. I don't want to take the mic. Uh huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Okay, uh, you need a little social skillage there. Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Did you know that? It's fine. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. Oh, who told anyway, you that? You're not supposed to be here. You should leave. I'm not sure it's a sign of greatness. It's certainly not a sign of ungreatness, but that's just never the first sign. Damn it. Right, he's still here, so I should just kick the bird. Scare the bird away. Yeah, he'll go. Boo. Shoo. Whoa. I'm a cat. Meow. Hey. Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Oh, yes, that totem. Right, what do we do with the bird? Right, I'm going to have to kick the bird. Go from this side. Scare the bird. Okay, that's good. Time for a fresh start. Understand? <laughs> I, I get it. Right, now we, we face this way and scare the bird. Towards There's another pile of bird seed over there. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, she looks, she looks pretty happy with herself. Go. Off. Off, off, off. Gotcha. Oh, Ooh, birds and totem poles. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's break this thing. Oh, she's going to see me. Okay, no one saw me. It's all good. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes. Creepy Samuel. He is a little bit odd. Well, what do we have here? Let's go. 
stealing the keys. I don't know if I'm if I should be running, whether I'm gonna give the game away. Let's Sorry, have him. Samuel. What else have you All got right. in here? Time to find Drew's room. Sprinkler box. Squirrel stone. What? Nice work, Samuel. Oh, look at that. Carving it himself. Very nice. Um. Such a nice white door. <laughs> Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Is that a, sh is that a, a nod to the other game? No time Let's go. Prep. We're in. I'm so getting caught right now. <gasps> Hello, I'm not here. <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Uh, I... Did you just get expelled? Oh, yeah, I'm on a secret mission. Yeah, nice work. No, I'm going to have to say something like that, because if I say I'm visiting a friend, he's going to say, well, you're not allowed. I'm going to see what I come up with if I say I'm on a secret mission. I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No. Dude, I, I'm just visiting a friend. I, I can't... I really can't just let you go in. Okay. Uh, for old time's sake, Samuel said it was okay. Or I get to use my... my uh, well, I was going to say my bitching conversation skills. I'm going inside, dude. You're just going to have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Oh, uh, talk about women's problems. That'll get any man to go, yeah, whatever. Okay, business. it's all good. Oh, there you go. Look, women's business. Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Okay, uh, you're going to lose your job. Yes, say that. You keep violating students' personal rights. You oh, damn it, I'm not a student. He's going to call me out. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Wells doesn't respect you. Is Wells pressuring you? Oh, ask him that. Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure. Don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? Oh. I thought we were friends too. I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Okay, you just looked at my tits. Oh, no way, you can't say that. Look the other way, I don't even know. <gasps> Chloe, I just oh. have this feeling like you're up to... Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place. Oh, yeah, I did do that. No, I... I uh... <laughs> Eh, fuck it. I totally did that. Wells raked me over the coals for that. Ugh. Time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Cause unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. Oh, I think we messed that up. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent-a-cop job. <laughs> just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Wow. Oh, Skip. Matthews. 
I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Because I've, I've, got, I've gotten reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. <laughs> what did you just say? Damn. Damn. Skip really lost it there. Oh, well, I got what I wanted in the end. Frank, perfect timing. I'm at the jump yard now. How's it going? Have you found it yet? No, I haven't found it yet. Chill out. It's been like five minutes. Oh, it has been probably about 20. He's got a, he's got a point. Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Hurry up. Yes, okay. Dude, right. pressure. Time to find Drew's room. Looks like we're going in. Guys, I will be back in the next episode. We finally have managed to get to the point where... Oh, it's still really burning out there. Forest fires are still raging. So we finally got to the point where we can get in to the dormitory. So hope you uh, will join me for the next episode where we'll find out exactly what happens when we get in there. We've got to go to Drew's room, find his cash, sneak out, be awesome, and meet everybody back at the junkyard a bit later. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the very best, and good night.